30 seconds from the time he read Winchester Double Barrel on the box, he was citing it. Well, how about going out for a little skeet shooting on Sunday? Give it a try, huh? Wonderful. Can I, Dad? He's all yours, Fred. He's a little too strenuous for me. Mr. Staples doesn't get tired like you do, Dad. I don't get tired. <laughs> he was an All-American. Well, it was just terrific, so I had to stop by and thank you. You forget it. Well, so long. I'll see you outside. Were you thoughtful of your friend? It's my pleasure, Dell. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. No, How are you, Paul? Still taking your vitamins, are you? I guess so, sir. Fine, fine. Keep it up. Excuse me, Mr. Ramsey. Oh, man, I'm tired. I've made arrangements for your call to Denver, Mr. Staples. If I could go over one paragraph... No, I think I'll knock that off after lunch, if you don't mind, Miss Fleming. All right, Mr. Staples. No, drink it here. Relax a minute. Thank you. I will. Would you like some of mine? Yes, thank you. As a matter of fact, I would. No, that uh, is fine. Thank you. Where'd you play your football, Mr. Staples? Oh, Ohio State. But don't ask me the years. I won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask you. Anyway, I feel about three times older than when I first came here. They kept you busy. Yes, I sure have. You've done very well. You fit it in quickly. Thank you. You know, I think that's the first out-and-out -out friendly thing you've said to me. I think you resent me a little, don't you, Miss Fleming? I don't know why you should... Well, it's just a feeling that I've gotten from time to time. You work with a man for a long time, a fine man. You become part of him. You identify yourself with him. Then along comes the new man. I like Bill Briggs. I like him a lot. I have from the first. If I have done or said no, anything... No, no, could... no, of course not. Because I must say you've been very fair. But seven years isn't a day. I owe a lot to Mr. Briggs. Mr. Briggs is the last of the original bunch around here, the people who really started this business. That's not easy to be the last of the original bunch. I know. He's not well. He has a bad heart. And an ulcer. I guess that's just about par for the executive course, isn't it? Well, I guess I've always been a field man. I haven't been an executive long enough to find that out for myself. But you're a good one. I think you're a very good executive. You admit mistakes. You don't pass the buck. You're a lot like Mr. Briggs that way. I take that as a very nice compliment. I mean it. Mr. Briggs' only trouble is that he could never be a yes man, not even to Mr. Ramsey himself. He always has to speak his mind. And Mr. Ramsey doesn't like his judgment questioned. You either go along, or you get off. Bill Briggs never got off. No, he never did. But maybe he's about to be pushed. <laughs> 